what do you need from bloggers in order to make sure that you can stand up and your colleagues can stand up and make that public option? Well, I really, this is a really important question. This is a pivotal moment on whether the country's going to go forward or just let the forces of the status quo and the cynics win the game. So this is a very important question for us right now in the whole country. What I want bloggers and bloggies to do is to harken back how they felt at you know, 11 a.m. on inauguration day in January 20th this year. When we felt this sense of tremendous hope, we had an inspirational president, we had a plan on how to move health care forward, and we thought the sky was the limit on what we could achieve in this country. Now, since that time, frankly, the forces of cynicism and fear have taken over the public discussion. We've seen that happen in town hall after town hall after town hall across the country. And frankly, the millions of people who are in inauguration today who had that sense of thrill, potential, hope, haven't been in those town halls, haven't been in the conversation. And we've essentially ceded the ground to those who want the status quo to prevail for billions of dollars. We need all of those folks, our friends, who felt so passionate about inauguration, who went out to the Capitol Mall, who went to their friends and watched their parties on inauguration day, to realize that democracy is not a party. The inauguration day was not the end. It was the beginning of And what we need today is for people who believe in a public option, as I do, who believe in a robust public option, as I do, who believe a public option is important to, to create a competitor for the private market. They need to get off their couches, sometimes away from their computer screens, and go to these town hall meetings and make their voices heard in a civil way, of course. But it's very important that those voices be heard. And frankly, as a member of Congress, I'll tell you something about that. This is, and wait, this is a little secret, but I'm going to tell you as you're blind. Members of the U.S. Congress are human beings and they are affected by what they hear. And right now they're hearing only messages from people who are driven by fear and anxiety and really are worried about change. And I understand fear and anxiety. They need to hear messages of hope and progress and confidence that this public office and the idea of health and reform in general is good for America. So I'm really hopeful that if anybody happens to hear my voice, the first thing they're going to do is go see where there's a town hall meeting with their member of Congress or their senator and go to that meeting and speak what they think in a civil way to let Congress know what they think. We are in a fight right now between two great forces that have always been in contest in America, contest in America, the forces of the status quo and the forces of positive change. And right now the forces of positive change are AWOL in this discussion. We need to get people in the public debate. Democracy depends on a vigorous debate. Democracy depends on different voices being heard. I don't want to denigrate those who are speaking against the things I believe in the town hall. They got a right to come out and be heard. They got a right to, to tell their congressmen in strong terms what they think. But it's very important that the voices I agree with, frankly, come to those meetings as well. So uh, this is the moment to make the inauguration the start, not the end of change in America. So I'm glad you asked the question.